All right, so if you got uh, this video, know that we're going to talk about uh, how to do great with events. So normally, uh, as you know, uh, events are useful, beneficial for a business, and they're so great normally. So I'm not going to just, uh, you know, like waste too much of your time and uh, just uh, uh, we, we're going to dive into all these points here that I uh highlighted so first event mindset shift uh second point is why uh why so that's gonna be why event and why like the choice your why kind of and the other one is gonna be uh what matters for successful events uh and also knowing your numbers uh success mechanism for like events so normally uh we're gonna have to you know put like event success mechanism uh let me just get that right all right so as i said that will be event event success mechanism so we're gonna go with the uh, event oh let's go like event success mechanism um Know your numbers, uh, event monetization, which is also a good point here. Uh, event monetization and more. So, yeah, I think those are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. So, seven may come maybe. Uh, so these are the, the points that we're gonna have to cover for on this. So uh, event mind mindset shift. If we start with event mindset shift, we're gonna realize that in uh, pretty much. So events have been there for a long time. Like events, uh, if you realize, like events have been there for a long time, long, long, long time. Here we're talking even ads, you know when people in egypt uh used to to not gather to have so many events for them to present something or to show something or even just for celebration same uh was applied in uh for for greeks same in uh, in in with, with the jews in hebrew uh, uh like in israel same with uh how do you call this rome like Pretty much all through our history, you can find events that events have been there, and uh, it's it's crazy to even see that events are still like you know a thing today, because they've been there for a while, and to see that they're still there up to today, it's crazy. It's really a great thing. So, again, today I'm just gonna uh, explain that. So event events have been there for a long time. And through our history, you can find out those ones. So that means uh, they work uh, up to now. Events work. You've seen that. You've seen like so, mar so many times that events work. And uh, throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can implement this uh, type of things in so many things that you might be doing especially like when you if you're a business owner or you're somebody who uh just want to uh maybe uh showcase something or talk about something and have a massive uh massive uh number of people uh to attend and just watch you know witness that uh the mindset shift about around events here so i i know most people especially nowadays because i'm not going to talk about like before and everything i'm going to talk nowadays the uh, attention span of people have been like reduced to a uh, minimum like let's say uh three to seven or whatever second you may you may just uh type there some some people can even can cannot even uh watch something over four seconds it's crazy so however events still do better and great because uh there's uh there are so many things that event hold that most people think are uh, maybe overlook uh events 
are there for the experience. So events are there for the experience. Normally, uh, the, the overall experience is what events are made for. So if somebody is just there, maybe just maybe maybe just looking to get distracted, or maybe they're just looking to um just you know just be around and not care too much about whatever happens. So they might not be interested in events. However, I've seen that uh the majority of events they can go from like 30 minutes, 90 minutes. Uh let's take for example, like if you go like uh for 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 matches like football, uh, basketball. You know, it's it's a lot of minutes that people take. So normally it can go from four or uh, thirty, forty plus minutes. So and that explains to you that it's the experience that people want. And 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 for people to stay that long, it's not just for them just to to uh yeah, you have fun, but it also for them to to be interested really, because uh normally you might find some people may attend because somebody say that or somebody influenced them or somebody told them like, oh, this is going to be great and not let it come and stuff. But the overall stuff is the experience. What experience are they going to get if they attend? What experience are they going to get uh, if they say they cancel some other stuff that they were supposed to do and come to your event or come to the event, right? So you have to think about that. And also, uh, the experience goes with uh, enjoyment. But when it comes to business, it's more about the transformation. So when I talk about transformation, is uh, how they come, how they came to the event, and how they left the event. There has to be something there in between. So the way they can, uh, the way they they come to the event or they came to the event should be different from the way they, they go out of the event. Otherwise, there's no uh, particular thing that you did in the event. Also, overall, the experience maybe was not good. So it, there are so many ways you can go about the experience. And today, I may discuss that like sli slightly today, but today I'm just going to cover these parts. So that's pretty much kind of the what we can say about the uh, mindset of events. And you have to look at it as something positive because uh, and uh, different from just a distraction. So you have to, to make sure that your event is not a distraction. All right, all waste of time. Right, so again it goes into the experience how's the experience what do, what do you expect from that experience uh normally uh sometimes when you do that you don't have to think about how you're going to see the event but you have to think about how are people going to see the event so think about the people not you not yourself <laughs> because the event is not for you yeah you are the host you are the one who organizes the event however it's not for you so you have to think about other people all right so that's why we go into why why events first of all because they work they work yeah, and you cannot prove me otherwise uh events work and you've seen uh, you've seen that throughout history as i was saying so they work that's why they're there <laughs> all right events ha have they have proven to work and up to now they still work. So that's why people choose them. So that's why people go. So apart from that, uh, why event? For an experience, uh, for a moment. And but only experience and moment you might have other other stuff it's like okay why event so normally here as as we go through the uh the concept of thinking about others than thinking about ourselves you might organize an event for you you have so many reasons to do that because uh normally uh, okay people organize events because uh they want to sell products or they want to uh give people an extended 
explanation or about what they do or they want to uh, uh, showcase something. It can be like a, an exhibition, all right, or show something to people or present something to people. So that presentation can be taken into so many ways depending on what type of business you do or what type of business you run. So however, the overall stuff is you do those because they work first. And second of all, you do those because uh, you want to provide an experience for people. So not so many people uh, have, you know, so many things to do. Even though they might be busy, uh, sometimes they need to relax. Or sometimes, uh, depending on your experience, it can be relaxing, it can be transformational, or uh, also it can be uh, something uh, that is going to pivot their belief and also pivot how they, uh, they view things. So again, goes into the transformation again. With the enjoyment, you can gamify your, your, your event. So normally you can do some icebreaker icebreakers and uh other stuff that you're gonna have to do but those are those are go those go deeper into the plan plan of the event uh or how you plan the event organizing the event and everything all right however you're gonna have to really really answer the why and if need be just do like a, a, re, a survey and ask people questions it's like why uh do you think you, you why do you go to events what type of events do you go to and for what reason like, seriously that's the why pretty much so you're gonna have to answer those questions and they're gonna help you to really craft or, or organize a great event that not only you like because of course you're gonna like it because it's yours but what people like you organize it for the people it for the people not for you all right so again just make sure it's really something that you can uh, uh think deeper and see how you can do that again now we're gonna go to uh what matters for a successful event so for an event to be successful again it has to meet the expectation of attendees all right so just meet the expectation of attendees and your event is going to be successful all right so this is pretty much that only that one phrase or word, whatever it it takes it includes a lot of stuff into it. So you have to meet the expectation of the attendees. So let's say uh, you say that people who attend the event they're gonna have to to check this to see this and and check pretty much a lot of stuff there. So what are you gonna do? So what are you gonna do is make sure that everybody who attends the event the expectation expectation are met especially regarding the topic of the event so bez uh you're gonna meet expectations of attendees you know based on the event theme or topic on yeah yeah based on the event theme or topic all right based on the theme or topic you're gonna have to meet the expectations of attendees so no, normally you're gonna have to make sure that um you cover what is necessary that you say you're gonna cover as i'm doing right now am i meeting your expectations let me know <laughs> i'll i'll be happy to read your feedback thank you so much and then here again uh successful events uh you know it it goes beyond uh so you meet the expectation of the the uh attendees or people who attend the event based on the on the event's theme or topic you also make sure uh the time as well as the uh content is right of the audience again here this is pretty much like a make sure that the time as well as the content is right for the audience the audience they are the people who are gonna uh, be at the event that people are gonna attend uh make sure the time is right and also the content that the the event is gonna be uh uh 
having is right for them. So again, here it goes into the demographic. So you make sure that the event, if you say event is for teenagers, don't show stuff for like people for over 30. If you say events is for like people over 30, don't show stuff for people like like teens or stuff. Or if you say, for example, just basic ones like uh, beginner friendly uh, or in, intermediate or advanced. So you're going to have to include those things so that people don't see that, okay, I already knew this or maybe uh, this is not for me. So they don't have to say this is not for me. If they say this is not for me, then there has to be a, a, a disconnect there. So normally who's who's not informed is it you who inform or uh, put the wrong information or is it them who just you know <laughs> maybe got uh some stuff going on in their mind and then figure find find themselves in the event normally that doesn't have to be the case because you have to work on your demographic you have to work on your criteria uh criteria of qualification of people who are going to attend you have to tell them okay you have to be uh a beginner or let's say for a business one you say anyone who has a business online and this is okay so people who have brick and mortar they're not qualified all right anybody who has a brand and then you specify so the more specific you are the better because it's gonna help uh, you to attract the right audience for your event so be more specific and, and if it's for everybody then you say everybody however still you're gonna have to limit them maybe by age or categorize them by age or what, any other thing that is particular. Or say like, okay, this is an event for everybody who travels to France. <laughs> All right. So again, uh, my voice, my voice is doing, but I'm just trying my best to record this because um, some people need them. Uh, you need them. And also a lot of people need them. Uh, I have uh, so many people running events like Lauren and other people are uh, uh, running events. So, you guys need this and uh, i wanted to just record it i tried to like retain myself along but i cannot i just need to make sure that yeah i stand on business and i do everything no matter what now my okay so however if you cannot hear anything or my voice is cracking too much uh just uh tell me and maybe i can do another one for you particularly or you we can i can just explain through our emails i'll leave the email below so that you can email me uh, normally, you can email contact at capwordtoplife.com. Contact at capworld.com. Hey, capwordtoplife.com. Contact at capwordtoplife.com. Capworld is contact is C O N T A C T alt. Uh, C A P W O R L D T O P L I F E dot com and uh, dot C O M. So just reach out to me and then I can explain better, or maybe through email and we can talk. Uh, or my team can just uh, take care of it for you. All right. So the thing is, make sure that. I, I'm sure that this is thing is sinking. So if it's not, just let me know. I'll, I'll try to maybe try to explain it again. So again, to for a successful event, what matters is uh, meeting the expectation of attendees or people who attend, or, or based on the event theme and topic, making sure that the time as well as the content is right for the audience. So all the qualifications and everything, just do your due diligence. And making sure that you put everything so mm, like being uh being specific about qualifications um criteria criteria right as well as little details the audience all right i'm saying uh, not too much but it just you know just just you know go say whatever or this is for these type of people they say uh stay home moms 
So if you're not a stay-at-home mom and you find yourself in that event, then you don't be mad because the content and everything is not is gonna be irrelevant. All right. It's gonna say, okay, business owners making uh ten thousand dollars plus. Then if you don't you make less than that and you find yourself there and then they talk about some stuff that you need to like invest this, this, you don't have the money, so you're the, the wrong type of that business uh, for that event. Teenagers events then you do that and also like especially more events are like over over 18 years old so if it's below 18 years old you may say okay like, yeah come with your guardian or come with a company like a you know may your parent you know give her a consent or whatever or be with your parents at the event so it has to be like that and then just going back to the shift here again uh more events are now being done online that's why you can call them virtual events so the benefits benefit of the events is going to help you to just be one many what what I, what we call one to many marketing one to many or one tm i call it one tm so if you want to know more about one to m or one to many marketing or one to m just strategy uh or marketing system just uh you know email me or message me on instagram or facebook i'll be able to explain to you uh further all right and you can talk about it. So that's it. So one to M or oh, one to many. So that's the benefit of events because when you can, you go to, to, you get to talk to, even though it's like 10 people, it's still many because many is more than two. All right. So more than two is many already. And at the same time, you know, same time, same content same time same content same message so that's it's a great benefit for events so you have to make sure that you really are uh, making sure that you uh, this is uh something that you look into uh because it's gonna help you a lot in your event all right it's gonna help you a lot in your events to be able to talk to many people at the same time with the same content and and pretty much everything. So the message is not like, oh, did you did you hear about that? Like everybody attended, everybody who attend. Although like people hear differently because you you might even when you're watching this video, sometimes you may watch it for the first time. You're gonna maybe understand your own stuff, and then after when you watch it again, then you're gonna be like, oh man, that's what he said. I forget that for the first time. Okay, okay. So like that's why I'm saying like sometimes. Uh, that's why events, you need to uh, repeat the event. Uh, repeat events. So it can be, uh, you know, monthly, let's say bi monthly. All right. Or um, quarterly. Okay, bi-monthly, monthly, quarterly, oh, uh, bi-quarterly, you know, yearly, oh, bi-semestral one, so. So oh, it depends, depends on whatever you, you wanna you wanna you wanna do there. So you have to make sure that the events are repeated because uh, again this information you're gonna hear it for the first time, you're not gonna hear it, baby. Just some words that are gonna you know run from your brain. And it's it's okay, it's okay. But however, I want you to really uh watch it again and maybe understand these concepts because otherwise 
it's not going to be beneficial to you and maybe it's, it's going to be just work or anything again this is for everybody who want to uh, create event as uh, but most if, uh, most importantly for people who want to create event for businesses you know, businesses and brands all right if it's any any other type of event this can work too you can find some value in this you can find some some insights that are going to help you however this is more on people who want to create events so like whether you have a, a brand you have a, a business uh you may be looking into creating business events or oh, this this is something for you all right oh uh and then for the overall or general events people people like who want to create and organize events you can also find some some germs in this one too so again it's like for almost like everybody who is into events however specifically for businesses and brands but right? so you get it so now that's what i'm saying i don't want this content to disappoint you so that's why I'm just making sure that I also uh, do what I preach All right, or what I say. So, repeat event. Monthly, quarterly, just pick your date and test and see whatever, which one is going to work. Uh, like uh, we've, we've been doing events with a lot of, with a lot of people. As uh, for most people who don't know, I'm King Clovis AP and... Uh, uh, I own uh, multiple uh, companies. However, we have like a bigger, bigger company that we help, a uh, business solutions company uh, that helps business people and businesses uh, to grow and scale their businesses the right way. And we help a lot of people create events. So sometimes we help authors create events. Sometimes we have our coaches create events. And we can, we, we help them like, uh, the way we help people is not just with one particular thing. We help people with end to end. So from the concept stuff to pretty much organizing everything, putting out the the, the pages, the funnels, uh, and setting up the the automations and setting up the uh, the uh, promotions and everything that goes along with that, and having the team also uh, put their touch into it, and until the end of the event and also the follow up and everything like that. So again, we do that not just for events but just for pretty much all uh, business solutions so if you're struggling with anything in your business just reach out and we can see how we can help you if we can help you then that would be great and awesome because you're gonna have a great team that can help you and if we see that it's something that we don't do then we maybe we can recommend you to uh, most of our partners because we have all so many uh people that our clients that also have businesses because we we operate with business people with founders and ceos and business owners and maybe we can refer to, we could refer you to uh, their business or recommend you their uh solutions and whatever they can do to help you because we don't want you to just be there without finding any help so we make sure that if you're running a business just be serious about it and running successfully all right and again repeat events is pretty much something that is great also so if i can recap here from from here first so if event mindset shift we, we see that events have been there for a long time so you have to make sure that this is not a, like something that just came yesterday um even though like some people say like ai came yes no ai came a long time ago it's just that it was not uh publicized it was not like uh how do you call this generalized was not known to the general public. Only people in technology, in tech stuff, tech tech related stuff, were using AI. But most people did not know about it. But however, here on the contrary, events have been there for a long time. I, I say, like people, gladiators and the stuff. So the nature of a bus uh, of an event, uh, um, natures of events vary be uh, from like event organizers and also themes and topics and whatever. It can be like a musical event. It can be a business event. It can be uh, whatever type of event you want to organize. However, you have to know that the goal of the events is just to uh, the goal or the benefits of events are to for you to reach out to a lot of people at once. And this is not just like spamming people or whatever, but this is just having or gathering people in one place on one setup so that you got they can have the same message you know at the same time and also maybe get the occasion for them to ask questions and 
and and you know get experience transformation in their life having these pivotal moments and also uh memories that they can hold for a, a long long time so that's like a having a great experience all right so why because they work and you know for that experience only experience more because again it all it is always said uh people will forget everything you say but they will never forget how you made them feel all right so these experiences these moments that you're creating in people's lives they're gonna live forever they might forget the exact words you say the exact stuff you did because most people don't even have like uh notepads however you can specify say take your notepads bring your pen whatever or your ipads whatever have people you know you know engrave these uh great moments and and, and also these great words that can they can remember over and over again as i say you are responsible for whatever you say however you don't know how people write things but however sometimes you really need to emphasize on what people can write that's what i'm saying everything i'm saying here write it down so that you don't forget you might watch this video today tomorrow whatever i'm gonna put it on youtube you can watch it however it's like you have to make sure that you you don't just watch it but you also take notes Take note on whatever is being said because it's gonna help you. All right. Again, it is always said people will forget what you say. Uh, not how you made. not how you made them feel people will forget what you say but not how you made them feel all right so i'm gonna go again this is just to help you get a context around all this and making sure that you're doing the right thing and you're following the right uh guidance uh so if you some of uh, a few of these things some of some of uh, of them or all of them are gonna stand up for you in your particular event that you're trying to organize and you might take some notes and see, okay, this this is what I need to work on. This is what I need to work on and everything. And again, if you need help, feel free to reach out. We can help you, all right? If something is not covered in this video uh, and you need help with that, and we can say, uh, you guys, uh, can you help me with it? I did not understand it. Or something, whatever you did not understand in this video, just reach out and we can explain that, all right? So again, you, you make sure that you give these uh, people these moments, all right? Not just for you, again, here you care about people you care about others because there's no business without people all right you, you yeah you may say yeah business money business whatever yeah all related stuff but it's like people are also the important part of a business you are as a founder you are your business is not run by robots all right that's why you have to, to think about people first all right you have your own reasons you have your own why and those are just for you and for you alone they might be public they might be personal or private and they don't they don't hold a huge weight than the why or the reasons of other people so you have to really make sure that you focus on others uh, more than yourself all right although yeah you need to take care of yourself first in order for you to Take care of others otherwise you won't do the, the right thing it's like love you cannot say you love a person if you don't love yourself otherwise the meaning of love to you doesn't matter like you don't know what you think you have to know what you're saying so the experience is you have to experience it first when you plan the event you do the event uh rehearse rehearse your script uh rehearse your your presentation rehearse with like in, like in front of your family in front of your co-workers uh your team i'm saying uh or workers yeah you re just rehearse and make sure you're ready and everything however you don't don't try to be perfect as long as long as you get if two three pieces is fine but however don't go more than five points if five key points are covered in events that's better or three you can go top three and then you're gonna events so five is fine and if you can go so 
normally you can do top 10, which is great. But I, I, I tend to go like seven as my limit for me. However, you find your limit for yourself and try to see if that will work. If seven is more for you, then reduce it. Maybe five is good for you. Maybe four is good for you. And if seven is good, then fine. If or 10 is good, then fine. Or you see also how people react to it or how people uh, like ask, ask questions. Do you guys love seven and everything? Like this video might be long. However, I'm trying to like put it within the limits of like a, maybe a game or whatever, an event kind of. So that you cannot be, uh, you know, overwhelmed. And again, you can take breaks. All right, take breaks. And if you find value in this one, just share with whatever uh, people you want who are into event or people who can who know people who are into event. Tell them to share with others. Share, and if they need my help, tell them to reach out. That will be grateful because yeah, I'm creating this video. It's like, uh. It's so, uh, like, I don't know how what time it is right now. And However, I have to do it, all right? Because I care for you guys, and I care for you, particularly watching. So just make sure you do me a favor, right? Just share with other people, too. Don't keep, it, don't keep this to yourself. However, um, yeah, that would, be, that would be appreciated. Thank you so much. So know your numbers. So know your numbers. Knowing your numbers is goes with um, event uh, numbers. So attendees. So always go. Always go with minimum. So as I always say, like <laughs> dream big but start small. I always say that and. So many people can back it up. So dream big, start small. You always uh, know your numbers. So go with a, uh, like a, a minimum and say like, okay, I would like to speak. Maybe 10 people are good for me. Uh, all right. If you get more, better, right? If you get more people, the better. But it's like, what is your number? What is your number that you're going to go with? And know that if you have those people at your event, everything is great. All right. So you have to know your number. So make sure that everything is great. You know your numbers, right? So start with the minimums. The other numbers that you have to know are expenses. Expenses in this time we're going to we're not going to call them expenses. We're going to call them investment. How much how much We lead will invest in the how much will you invest in the event? All right. So think about that. Yeah, it depends. So as we say you did types of events, you can have in person events, you can have virtual events. Nowadays it's a lot of virtual events due to the pandemic. I'm gonna call it like that that happened recently. And you you know that that's that change oh did something that was crazy but which is great crazy in a good way i'm saying all right and now a lot of people are organizing virtual event they were there before however they were not that popular after that and now even like so many stuff became popular like working from home and doing so many things and, and a lot of stuff i was predicting this a long time ago it's so like oh people are gonna start working from home with stuff never done is like i love working from home i love doing everything from home i love being uh yeah i'm a traveler and stuff but now that i have a wife and also i have a son so i, I want to be with my family i want to be close to my family so i don't want to go too far and stuff but if something that is i pray to god like mostly it's like god would only give me whatever he wants me uh whatever he thinks is best for me so whatever he's giving me that means he thinks that's best for me all right. So because I'm here to either I'm here to learn and I'm here to 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 become better and better and better. And if it's a it's a it's a it's a learning lesson, better for me, because if I learn the uh, the faster I learn, uh, the, the, the better I become. All right. Uh, and, and, and that's for you, too. So I don't know how your perspective is around this. So you have to do that. So 
So now that events are pretty much like with uh, uh, online, so expenses or investment that you're gonna do is, is really into the tech. So tech, you may you may see some people some people use Zoom. All right, again, not sponsored. Thank you, Zoom, if you sponsor this video. Uh, some people use Zoom. Some people use other other stuff. Uh, some people use uh, Stream Stream Labs. Is this Stream Labs or Stream Yard? I don't know. Uh, whatever. So find find your take. Find your take. Find your 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 take. Uh, find your take kit and it's about if you if you take. <laughs> you take tick a key all right so if you find it just make sure you do that so normally uh if you know uh we have our own recommendation that we give to people and and if you want to have like whatever recommendation just reach out to us I'm, we're gonna help you with your tech and everything so so that you can get everything set up so normally it's just a way for you to do uh your event so with most uh virtual events some of them are like in two categories so there's a uh, uh, evergreen events evergreen meaning is like a pre-recorded event and you already pre-record the stuff you already have the date now you pre-record and then after you're gonna at uh, the event time that's where you it's gonna be live and people are gonna watch it live with you however the video was recorded before the event and also there's live events where there's no pre uh, pre-recording stuff or you can pre-record maybe some promo stuff that you're gonna play in in between slides However, you're going to present the event live. The event is going to be live. So you're going to have to choose which one is based for you, live or pre-recorded or evergreen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so choose which one is best for you. However, if you want that energy from the people and everything like that, man, go with live. Lives, live events are better because uh, pre-recorded stuff, you might not know what question somebody may ask. You might not know whatever uh, maybe mood or whatever stuff that you might be in or whatever uh, empowering words that you might deliver to some people and you're just going to go like that and then you say like, oh my God, I should have said this. I should have said this. And so in order for you not to have those regrets and just to live in the moment, like give that experience that like a live experience and get it from also like a great feedback from your uh, uh, people who attend your event or your attendees so make sure it's live however for some other reasons you might have maybe you have some other stuff to do or whatever stuff it depends but those ones are typically like master classes and stuff those can pre be pre-recorded like classes or workshops or whatever but live still even well, master class can be a live master class workshop because all those are part of like virtual virtual events it's just the name like just for the names that are changing so and, and those ones can be uh, normally like uh one day event all right one day event for like maybe uh one one hour two hours three hours or 30 minutes depend uh two day event three days event five days event and so on just you know you can do the whole stuff however you want so just get so many uh uh stuff from events that you you've been you've been to uh, see what uh, was good at there and what was not good and whatever stuff. So just take your notes and write. You can even put stuff in the comments just to help other people who are going to uh, watch just to see that. So know your take. Know your numbers. Numbers are attendees. I always start with the minimum. However, with your take, make sure it's convenient for your message to come, to go, uh, you know, uh, to come across. So if it's Zoom, go with Zoom. If it's whatever, you go with it. Again, Reach out to us if you need help with any good tech. We might assess your situation. We may see, okay, whatever you you can. This one is bad for you. This one is not. Oh, just try this and stuff. We we've tried a lot of events. We we've done uh, a lot of events with so many clients. So uh, we might see maybe you are in the same situation. So because of the case studies that we have, we may say, okay, maybe this is best for you and stuff. Because we don't want to give you just like a general information and then uh, find out that that's not good for you. All right. Again, as I say, meeting the expectation and making sure the content is good for the audience. So right now, this is like a general audience watching. So I'm making sure that everything is within those limits. However, if you want to go deeper and want to know more, reach out. 
contact info is provided. All right. So know your tech, know your numbers. You might go with a minimum for people. Uh, you, you might go, let's say, 5, 12, 10, uh, 10, 12, 20, whatever stuff. And just go and do that. And and see, uh, depending also on your tech capacity, some events can hold up to like 100 people or maybe just 10 people, or maybe just two, or maybe just like 300 or whatever. However you want, even though you have 100 capacity for your tech, it doesn't mean that you're going to have 100 people showing up to your event. You have to be realistic here and making sure that uh, you have go with the bare minimum. And if it's doubled or tripled, praise all praises to the most high. All right. Praise God. That's what I'm saying. So the better, if it triples, like always uh, don't try to overthink it or try to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, put your dopamine so high, just making sure that you really have the right expectation for that. And make, if the, those expectations are made, great. Same with the audience, same with the people that you're giving information. All right. So know your numbers, know your take and your stuff. And then later also, uh, if, if, uh, if anything to be sold during like before, during, or after you know if there's anything that's to be sold before, during, or after the event, just compute that too, because otherwise you know it's gonna be harder for you to even have the numbers across and the start and you're gonna start doubting yourself. So if you have something to be sold, no well okay, what is gonna be sold uh for to who, for what? And what's the price for it? And whatever stuff. And find figure out the ways on how you can really deliver that. That's where we we jump into uh, the event success mechanism. So, in one word, your event success mechanism will depend on it on your system. All right. The system, just in simple words, the system is just a way for you to make uh, uh, things from end to end and 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 streamline every process of your event even in a business is just to have a streamlined process from end to end that's what you call system all right so from you to uh from the like the idea to like the ideation for the ideation to the maybe like start out like, like planification and then from there organizing uh, and the take whatever how to find people how to promote how to do this how to collect money and pretty much everything so you're gonna have to have a system so that's the number one success mechanism of the event and the system is gonna be from everything no no end to end streamline end to end streamlined process all right end to end streamlined process so here you have you have a lot of stuff. You have strategies, you have frameworks, or you have, uh, you know, uh, processors. Uh, it can be payment, payment processing stuff. You know, processors. What am I typing? Processors. Uh, you can have, uh, you know, the team. And everything, etc. You know, it's a lie. If you want more information about a system, just write system, uh, DME system uh, on Facebook or Instagram or even email system to our support team. We're gonna, you're gonna have uh, so like a, a, maybe an information about that and how you can set up the system. You can set up with us or you can do your own stuff, but yeah, we just wanna help you. All right, just reach out and we see if you can help. And so you have to have that. So that's the mechanism for your event success. You know, I'm not going to go too hard into this, each part of this or more. So, and then the monetization of your events, you're going to, there's two types. So it's free or paid. So you're going to have to, to, to define if your event is a free event or paid event. So be specific. All right. So normally some people can do like general, uh, admission 
free. And VIP paid. All, all paid. You know, just, just say, so normally that's pretty much the monetization of your event. So you're going to have to see, okay, is it a free event? Is it a paid event? So try, try, test and see. We're not going to tell you like which one is, is, is better, free or paid, because it depends on, on the type of audience and the type of people you're talking to. Some people are willing to pay for the event because that's what most people do when they go to, to matches, concerts, whatever. They pay for that. All right. And some people may not pay for that. It depends on whatever you have to do with your event and what are the goals and what everything for your events. And again, if you want a consultation about it, like we want to have a call, we can just talk and help you with that. See, okay, which we, which one is a great route for you? Is it a paid one or is it a a, a free one? Or how are you going to structure your prices and everything like that? We can also help you with that. However, for this particular part here or point, the event monetization, at the end, in the end, you have to see how you're going to get paid. So is it going to be through, uh, so normally how you can get paid here, it can be through tickets. That's where I'm saying general, paid, whatever, admission, through merch, through products, solutions, or services. To, uh, affiliate uh, oh you call the invert endorsement we got the endorsement all right so this is it so etc endorsements or brand deals so how are you gonna get paid for your event so normally the way you monetize an event it can be through tickets you're just okay this people are gonna buy tickets they're gonna attend the event or you can say okay people who are gonna attend the event they're gonna have to buy uh or whatever stuff or donations they're gonna have to donate something like that or they're gonna have to maybe buy a service or whatever stuff at the event during like before during or after the event you're gonna have to just uh you know see how you're gonna play with that or people who attend the event then they're gonna have to uh to get to know about the the, the sponsors the endorsers and and people and other stuff that can be beneficial for them don't however don't uh you can use both you can use all of them at the same time you can use one two three depending on how you're gonna do again this is general information you're just gonna have to pick which one works best for you however uh be careful uh when it comes to like endorsements uh product services making sure uh, make sure that those ones are good for the people that are gonna buy them because don't just endorse something just because you want to make money but endorse something just because it's gonna be helpful for your audience all right you're free to support anything however uh, always be mindful and knowing that not everything is necessary all right so you can support everything you can do all things but not all things are necessary i'm referring to it from the bible however uh because i am a uh, i'm a believer I don't know about you however uh your conscience should always be there like are you trying to help or are you trying are you trying to help others or are you trying to help yourself the best way to help yourself is to help others it's through service of others that's the best way to help yourself and then i'm gonna leave again uh you with this i think we cover pretty much everything thank you so much for watching if you find this helpful share it with people do not keep it to yourself share with other people however if you want to uh, you want to make it a secret but however utilize it to the maximum all right utilize this information to the to the maximum this is to help you do great with events uh so again it's general people who love doing events and also uh, but more specifically for businesses and brands so you're gonna find more information regarding here and if you want to reach out to me reach out to me i put uh uh, information in the description uh, reach out to me uh, we can talk and see how we can help you and if you wanna uh, you have somebody who want help with events on how to set up event or this uh, like something that they're really uh, missing out or a disconnect just uh, let them know 
uh, that we can help them with that, they can reach out to us and we can help them. Uh, and also, uh, thank you again. Uh, after taking all these and implementing all these, making sure that you do, and also a bonus that I'm going to give you here is how to get people to the event. All right. How to get people to the event. So we already know people can come through promotions, promotion or marketing, adver advertising. All right, so you're going to have to do this and making sure that it is there to, to help you get people to the event. However, there's other, other ways for you to get people to, to, to your event. So your, your marketing should be on point. You, of course, all these are already planned. You already like uh, strategize pretty much everything and then try the new approaches and stuff. So uh, by telling people to invite like-minded so number one by telling people to invite like-minded people that might sound like oh man this is so simple yeah it's, it is but it's like most people forget to do that and that's the problem <laughs> the thing is like uh most of the stuff uh people forget to do them the reason why we're here to remind you that all right telling people to invite other people so Tell people to invite other people, it's good. Tell people to tag their friend, it's good. Tell people to share with other people, it's fine. Telling them this. By inviting by inviting guests guest speakers or guest hosts. So no, your event can be yours. You're going to be the main host and the staff, but you can invite somebody who's going to run maybe the, your, your presentation for you. All right. You can invite somebody who is going to do anything like that. So this is a collab. You do a collaboration, all right, which is something great. You can only go far if you go alone, but you can go farther if you go together. So don't <laughs> keep it to yourself. As I always say, as also this information, don't keep it to yourself. Just go invite other people. If they, you see, like, don't say like you invite somebody, you do the same thing. You might do the same thing, maybe, but maybe it's different. But what I'm trying to say here is to invite people who have a horizontal or vertical stuff that are pretty much going aligned with what you do. So maybe they have a product and you have a product, and the, those two combine, it's a great thing. Then do that. Go there and invite those person. They will be happy. Plus, you they will also advertise to their audience or promote to their audience while you also promote to your audience. And that's better because they may invite also other people. Imagine you invite two guests. Now you have two people on your event. You may, they may have like some segment or snippet part where they're going to have to talk. However, you're going to have the overall stuff where you can talk and the message is still there. And maybe, yeah, they might be also having a great experience too. Like you never know. All right. So don't, don't forget to do that. Doing that, you can invite other guests or by telling peers to invite their audience. So normally by telling people to invite their audience, they can they can do email, email their audience. So, so normally people with the same like industry or people who have uh, an audience that you're looking for, you can tell them to uh, invite others. Uh, so they can invite them through their email list. They can invite them to uh, their group. Uh, they can invite them, etc. So again, here it's general. So if you want more specific or detail, then you can just go and do that. And then the rest is uh, by... While launching paid ads. So here again, it's going to be with an influencer 
all you, your team, etc. So whatever it will take, and also more, more, more. So now let me know. Put your thumbs up if you love this, and if uh, this part has been more beneficial to you. And uh, again, I wish you all the best for your events. May your events be successful. And if you have any question, please reach out. I'll be glad and happy to assist. Again, this has been great. Uh, I've been trying to make you do great with events. My name is King Clovis AP. All right. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur, business mentor, and a lot of stuff. I'm a dad. I'm a husband. Thank you so much, guys. And nice to meet you. And also, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you also uh, check other videos that may help you too. Thank you. Peace.